What? Did you actually expect appropriate original music in my intro? You must be out of your minds. Yes, this is the proper Englishman show. Now shoot, go away. Yes, I'm back. Did that idiot really think that getting rid of the tea would actually equal, you know, getting rid of me? I can also get back with Coco. Or whatever other beverage uh, is convenient for me making a video, but... Convenience aside, I can smell the loot of that imbecile. He must have been spending money left and right instead of paying his bills, you know, buying those tacky things, uh, tacky things, and uh, I think I found the source. He's been in something called AthensCon this weekend. So let's bitch and whine about his new belongings. By the way, bitch and whine, sorry, but uh, your actual name is really easy to use. Considering an amass, anyway, it's not like I'm gonna pay you any rights or whatever. So, first things first, uh, I suppose, um, this is a hand-drawn pasta, and, uh, I, I, I can't really bitch and whine about that. This is nicely done! When did this idiot start having good taste? By the way, this is uh, an anime, uh, thing from the 70s, a super robot or whatever, but it kind of looks good, so let's try to bitch and whine about the, the rest of his things, uh, I guess. Uh, so what did he buy next? Uh, Are you serious? E.T. on VHS? The only bad thing about that is that the actual subtitles are Greek, nothing else. Seriously, did some good taste guy bite this imbecile? Now what? He also bought manga. Dragon Ball, no less. I didn't even know this imbecile could read. Th this is ridiculous. I must find something that he bought that... Uh, <laughs> I found it. There it is, and it reeks. It reeks. Oh, you have no idea how much it reeks. You want me to explain? Let me explain myself. Well, you all uh, perverts are uh, very... Uh, used to this whole thing with uh, Sega games being played on Nintendo consoles nowadays, right? Even seeing Sonic himself being ridiculed on Wii U and Nintendo Switch. I actually like the Switch, so I don't even know why I said this. But anyways, back in the day, it was actually equaling, like, uh, science fiction to be able to play a Sega game on Nintendo. So, we have Shinobi over here, late, late 80s arcade game, uh, on, on NES, no less. Holy moly, this must be ridiculous, this must be uh, let me explain. This, it's always, almost the same as the Man of Steel sporting Goku's hair. Or Godzilla having a hairy asshole or, or a mane. It's that kind of ridiculous. So without further ado, let's just pop this abomination in my other grey abomination and play this thing, shall we? Look at that. That's absolutely disgusting. I'm quite offended just by looking at this. I mean... The Atari was able to perform better, I like having more colors than this. This is absolutely ridiculous. Let's see how this abomination plays. Oh my goodness, just by looking at it, I can 
feel like laughing <laughs> and it's definitely the funniest thing I've seen so far so uh, it, it actually works I mean I have a life bar uh, which sounds more fair than the arcade version I I should say and uh, the controls are actually responsive which I don't know how I should be feeling about this um, yeah yes um, let's see Oh, okay. I guess it's working just fine. Off to the first level boss, and let's see how that works. Well, it, it, it actually... It, it's working just fine, I think. What's the meaning of this? This is supposed to be bad! What? It even has a down animation? That's ridiculous! Off to the second level boss. Th this is... This is preposterous. Y you know, th this is the bonus stages. Yes. Um, it actually controls fine. I can't digest this kind of ridiculousness right now. I feel sick. Wow. I would make fun of the idea of a ninja fighting a helicopter, but this is a real thing that happens in the original as well, and yes, it's exactly as easy as in the arcade if you ask me Preposterous. so if you haven't already guessed by saving those kids you get to uh, upgrade your life bar and by going to the bonus stages you get to uh, have these uh, magic things that you know over there up there do you see those icons yes you can use magic in this game just like the arcade but only when the machine feels like it when uh, one of the magic is blinking one of the boxes over here is blinking up there then you can use it how you may ask just by pressing those two damn buttons right there on that square control controller and I don't even know what's that even a thing if that was not the master system I would be like yes it only has two buttons I'm down with it but right here it has like four buttons yes damn NES logic I guess and let's go fight Mandara or whatever he is called you know the the guy with the chairs the Buddha chairs over there yes that is really hard to do in the arcade. L look at me using my pistol like I'm a 007 or something. I would try to make more fun of it, but actually, this is something straight of the out of the original. And look at that. I lost. Ridiculous. Okay, I I've been playing for quite some time now, and... Uh it actually plays okay um the gameplay uh is good uh, i i don't know why i let my mouth say something like this but it's the truth really i, I think it might even control a little better than the master system version which i thought it would be my top favorite version I mean, think about it. Uh, 
even the PC Engine one that has better animation, better... You would say everything, but not really, because it actually is missing a couple of stages, but... It seems that, like, the NES version is not missing anything. The gameplay is just good, the... Uh, it's, it, it is much more forgiving. You can actually replenish your health. The bonus stages are still there, as you can see. Um, and they play just fine. I, I might even vomit just by saying something that nice for an S game, uh, seriously. I, I feel I feel it's quite sick, to be honest. Uh, all the boss fights are there. It, it, it seems, uh, because, you know, I'm on the lobster stage at this point. And it seems we got the red lobster. Um, and now we're on the final stage. Um, we're gonna fight the masked ninja. The, this, you know, uh, look at that. Th this is the only ridiculous thing I can think about when it comes to this game. Like... You have to be ready, um, on some occasions, like, maybe it's just trying to stick to it, its arcade roots, just maybe. But, it's ridiculous how this plays, like, it plays good, like, all jokes aside, and if we exclude the lack of color, this is actually more than a half decent, um... Yes, th this is not working in my favor, uh, I think. Look at this. It even has those those enemies that... They look like skeletons. I didn't think those existed in this version. And this is the final part of it. Look, look at that. It, it's, the, it's the monk. It even has the monks. The game is, uh, rather forgiving, I should say. Um, yeah. And we have reached the final stage, the, the final level, which is the final boss. Yes, the masked ninja. Let's see if he actually fights the same way as in the arcade. He kinda does, yes. Yeah, I would expect him to be hard. He's the final boss. This is supposed to be uh, where the game ends. So, let's just be a little more patient. I'm kind of surprised that I'm saying this on a NES game. Okay. I lost again, but I think I'm getting the hang of this. Let's try again. Good. Yeah, I think he has a weakness over here. We, we have found something. And I also have a weakness. And it's probably game over. But you know what? This is actually kinda good. And now if you expect me to throw an adult it. No! That's absolutely disgusting! I've had enough trauma for one day. Just go away, you parrot!